I think at the end of the day, this right here is just what happens when you find a group of guys who are passionate about what they love doing and uh, aren't willing to stop for anything, no matter how many bad things come against them, they just keep on going, keep on fighting. get the job done. Oh baby. Yeah. Oh, man. Great job. I would say by nature hunters in particular are fairly driven people. But bow hunters in particular take it to a whole nother extreme. And I believe the reason for that is because there's just something that comes over you in the midst of a hunt that can't be explained and can't be ignored. Bye, you forget me. <laughs> and you just have to experience to believe it. And once you experience it that one time, there's no going back. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if that's you, then we share a common thread. So young or old, rich or poor, we share life together with Mother Nature. that time of year again we're kicking off a new season we love this time of year because anticipation and excitement are through the roof it's all about preparation planning food plots running cameras hanging stands and constantly anticipating opening day Your bow technician's pretty good. Smoking. Well, we're out here today. It's summertime, it's hot. Uh, but it's time to get the thing about whitetails. We, uh, we got our new trail cameras. We're gonna get our BB square. What we've got here, we're on top of a big ridge. Right below here, down here is a cutover and these deer are bedding in this cutover right here. They really don't like coming up here on top. They like, there's a bench, one drop, one bench down. They kind of like traveling this ridge on that bench. But the problem is, if there are any deer here, we can't really hunt them down there because no matter which way the wind's blowing, it kind of swirls around in there and we just, it's just not a good place to hunt them. It's stand hanging time now. We're 
about a month out from season starting. We're gonna slide in here and get this stand in the tree. We got three bucks in here that we want to shoot and we got them coming up here on top like we want. We got a tree just right there. Uh, we're gonna stick stands in and uh, mm -hmm. see what happens. Hopefully October 1, we'll get a crack at one of the three of them. Well, we are set. Deer coming in. Stand hung. All we need now is season to start. Here's one of our good bucks, and here's one of our good bucks. This buck's just got a fork crab claws on it. He's pretty cool. Uh, that's kind of, these are two of the bucks. There they are, hooked up, locked up, fighting. These are kind of the bucks that we're looking at taking one of these two. early season. It's my first time in a tree. Find a pole. I'm really excited. I got a spot here. I had a camera on. It's a BB squared out for a couple weeks now. There's three good bugs using it. Three bugs that are four and a half year old deer. And any one of them glad today, right here where we are. Hang tight with us. We're getting the year kicked off. It's a little warm, but hey, I'd rather be here than on the couch.
the bone, baby. You freaking kidding me? We. That's one of the three we come in here after. He's the smallest of the three, but hey, that sucker right there is a good, mature Arkansas deer for where we are. The first of the season. Dude, 30 the, minutes in the stand. On the board already. <laughs> Hey. We weren't here 30 minutes and they was in here on top of us. We be square, baby. Over the last several years, it seems like one piece of equipment that becomes more and more important to us as a team is our trail cameras. Every year with gaining access to new properties and trying to find certain deer that we want to hunt, these cameras, I mean, they're one of the most valuable pieces of equipment that we have. We're not guys that like to go into a place a lot of times, so there's certain things that we look for in our trail cameras. And what, what we want, number one, is long battery life. Number two, I want a camera that can hold a lot of pictures. I want a big capacity card in my camera. And number three, I want a good quality picture so when I do get pictures of these animals, I can see exactly what I got. These are come, some of the key things that we find in these wild game innovation cameras that we really like and they suit our style of scouting and what we look for in a camera that we're gonna place on our properties. We fixing to get blown out and busted. We were just thinking about waiting on one of the bigger ones, but he's fixing to tear us all up. So we went ahead and took care of him. I didn't make a great shot on him, hit him high, spined him. I slipped off down the hill there and stuck another one in him. And he's done down the hill. That right there is a way to get the season started, buddy. Yes. Right here in our home state, there ain't nothing better. I love this early season, huh? Let's get out of this tree and go. Let's go get, get our hands on him. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking pumped. Dude. Well, I, I, did, I didn't get nervous until he started getting nervous and I knew that was it was fixing to happen. That right there saved our lives. Dude, he, could, he didn't know he what couldn't, was. He couldn't figure it out. Yeah for the You're longest. Right. He could smell us. He could, I think he could smell us, but he wouldn't. And then he finally just got on up and enough and enough and enough and enough. And he finally got a little whiff of us in there. Within two seconds, that wind swirl and his nose went straight up. Yeah, well, dude. the thing is, right when he walked in, you could have killed him calm oh, and much. he wouldn't have dropped. But you know what? I felt like I was on him, but he was on pins and needles whenever I shot. Well, here he is. We uh, slipped down here, found him piled up in the thicket, which is where we like him, piled up in the thicket. Everything came together great tonight. We've been running trail cameras on this deer and uh, a couple other deer. It's a good three and a half year old deer here in Arkansas. Uh, I mean, these deer here get three and a half and they get tough. I'm very tickled with this deer. This is an awesome way to start out the season. He's pretty cool. He kind of got like a mule deer horn on this one side here with forks on the end. He's just a neat deer. I couldn't be happier. First one of the year. It's warm, but hey, I'll take them whenever I can get them. You ready for the work? Oh, that's not work, that's fun. <laughs> These back straps in there, we're gonna eat. That's right. Every hunter has their own convictions about 
why they hunt and what they look for in a hunt. For me, it's the details. It's the little things that I really get into in a hunt. The day-to-day -day activities of patterning a deer and, and finding him and, and figuring him out and then actually trying to get in and hunt him and be successful consistently in doing that. That's what, that's what gets me going about deer hunting and when it comes down to that moment when everything lines up and everything happens and it all comes together and you've got a deer in front of you that's what it's all about for me uh, it doesn't matter the size of the horns for me it's all about the experience of everything leading up to that moment and it all coming together like it was planned Hey Dick, that's what we're going for right there, Andy. Dang it. Huh? That, but if you don't shoot him here, I'm gonna have to do a 360. Well, my hair hit pretty high. Oh, yeah, because he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> 